Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to my members. Eckhart, Ian, Orlando, Morali, Michelle and Humberto. Forgive me if I mispronounce your name. Thank you for becoming a member. Members are giving shout outs in my videos and you can easily become a member by clicking the join button. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to be solving this radical equation. I'll be presenting two methods, even though you can use a third method, which is basically solving the quartic. There's a quartic formula, which is quite complicated. You turn it into a cubic, and then there's a cubic formula. You can turn it into a quadratic, so on and so forth. But unfortunately, there's no quintic formula. So let's start with the first method. My first method is going to be manipulating this equation in an interesting way. We're going to use a parameter. And I believe this method was used by at least black pen, red pen, and possibly some other YouTubers. I can't remember. All right, so let's go ahead and square both sides first. So that's going to get rid of the radical. And on the right hand side, we're going to get x to the fourth minus 8x squared plus 16. Now, here's what I'd like to do. I want to put everything on the same side, but I want to introduce a different variable and turn this into a quadratic equation. Can that be done? Yes, because we have 4 and 16 together, which is nice. And this method, by the way, does not always work, but sometimes it does. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to call, and by the way, the motivation behind this method is solving a quadratic is a lot easier than a quartic. And this can be turned into a quadratic. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to call this number a. 4, we're going to call that a. So this will become a squared, right? And this will become 2a. Awesome. Oh man, I should use a b so I could say 2b or not to b. Anyways, you get the idea. So now let's go ahead and rewrite it with the new variable. a minus x equals x to the fourth minus 2a x squared plus a squared. Now, notice that this is quartic in x, but quadratic in a, right? That is the idea. So let's go ahead and put everything together and make it a quadratic in a. So we have a squared minus 2x squared a. I just wrote it a little differently. And then I, I'm going to bring the a over, so that's going to be a minus a. And then x to the fourth plus x is going to be the constant. Since a is the main variable here, x will be considered a constant. And I'm going to solve this as a quadratic equation. That's my first method, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, arrange this a little bit. I can write it as 2x squared plus 1 as the coefficient of a with a minus sign in front of it. And x to the fourth plus x is the constant, as I said earlier. So let's go ahead and solve this using the quadratic formula. Such a powerful formula, right? So from here, a becomes negative b. By the way, the coefficient of a is b, which is the opposite of 2x squared plus 1. So the opposite of that would be negative b would be 2x squared plus 1 plus minus the square root of b squared. I can just square 2x squared plus 1. And from that, subtract 4ab. A is the coefficient of a squared. That's kind of a little confusing. I should probably not use an a here. Anyways, you get the idea. Uh, that's going to be 4 times x to the 4th plus x divided by, nope, we can do better than that, okay, divided by 2 because the coefficient of a squared is 1. All right, let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. 2x squared plus 1 plus minus, now this expression can be written as 4x to the 4th plus 4x squared plus 1 minus 4x to the fourth minus 4x. That's great. And then we're going to divide it by 2. 4x to the fourth cancels out. Inside the radical, we have 4x squared minus 4x plus 1, which can be written as 2x minus 1 quantity squared. And its square root is just going to be plus minus 2x minus 1, but we already have a plus minus sign here, so that'll take care of that. So a can be written as 2x squared plus 1, plus minus 2x minus 1. Remember, we square rooted it, right? And then that'll be divided by 2. Awesome. Let's go ahead and split it up into two solutions. 2x squared plus 1 plus 2x minus 1 divided by 2. 
that'll be x squared because one is going to cancel out x squared plus x and the other solution is going to be 2x squared plus 1 minus 2x plus 1 divided by 2 and in this case we nothing cancels out but we can divide everything by 2 and get x squared minus x plus 1 because everything will be divided okay so those are the two roots a in terms of x how about that now we're going to go ahead and write x in terms of a so we got a equals x squared plus x that means x squared plus x equals a or x squared plus x minus a equals zero but a is equal to four remember that we said four is equal to a so a is equal to four therefore we can just plug in replace a with four and that's going to give us the equation right okay so you can just go ahead and solve this easily and find the solutions but you have to make sure that you're only accepting the acceptable solutions okay the solutions that satisfy the original problem okay great so let's go ahead and look at the second one the second roots are going to come from here x squared minus x plus one is equal to a or four and this gives us x squared minus x minus three equals zero and again that's going to give us another pair of solutions but we have to check those solutions okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the solutions so what is the first equation give us x squared plus x minus four equals zero let me go ahead and copy that here and we're going to work with these so let's start with the first one the top one which is the second one actually x equals negative b one plus minus the square root of b squared one plus 12 which is 13 divided by 2 and then from here you're going to get 1 plus root 13 over 2 and 1 minus root 13 over 2. now if you solve the second equation which is negative 1 right plus minus the square root of b squared 1 plus 16 which is going to be 17 over 2 and then from here you're going to get two solutions negative 1 plus root 17 over 2 and negative 1 minus root 17 over 2. so we ended up with four solutions now let's go ahead and check which solutions satisfy the original radical equation after checking these solutions we find out that 1 plus root 13 over 2 and negative 1 minus root 17 over 2 are the two roots that satisfy the original radical equation and let's go ahead and take a look at the second method now for our second method I'm going to do the following let me rewrite the original problem so this is our radical equation here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set both of these equal to y and from here I get actually a system of equations the first one being x squared minus 4 equals y and the second one being square root of 4 minus x equals y now how does this help if you go ahead and square both sides in the second equation you get 4 minus x equals y squared and if you put the y squared and 4 together you get something like this y squared minus 4 equals negative x so here's the system that I would like to work with these two equations let's go ahead and put them together oopsies we don't have any room so here's what we need to do because the next page is going to be about the graph so let's go ahead and do the following let me go ahead and copy those equations here and I'm just going to erase the rest so we got these two equations y squared minus 4 equals negative x and x squared minus 4 is equal to y make sense okay great so let's go ahead and make some room for our second method all right so here's what we're going to do with these equations we're going to solve this as a system and to solve it i'm going to go ahead and let me write it here it's probably better that way all right now we got this system and we're going to go ahead and subtract the equations if you subtract this way you get x squared minus y squared and by the way um, four cancels out and you end up with y plus x be careful because you're negating the negative x and then you can factor it as x plus y times x minus y equals x plus y and if you put x plus y on the left hand side and factor you get x plus y 
times x minus y minus 1 times x plus y equals 0. And from here, you can basically take out x plus y and get x minus y minus 1 equals 0. Now, you can go ahead and replace y with this, and you'll get the following. Let's go ahead and solve this system now. The first one gives us y equals negative x, but y is x squared minus 4, so x squared minus 4 is negative x. That gives us x squared plus x minus 4 equals 0. And we already talked about the solutions. The second one gives us x minus y equals 1. And if you replace y with x squared minus 4, then you get the other equation, which is x squared minus x minus 3 equals 0. So we got the same equations. Therefore, the solutions are going to be the same as before, which is 1 plus square root of 13 over 2 and negative 1 minus square root of 17 over 2. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph, and we'll just finish up. So the graph of the radical function, notice that it's pointing to the left because x needs to be less than or equal to 4 for the domain. And the other one is a parabola. They intersect at two points, which are the x values. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.